Just going fishing again. Yeah, you gotta speak up a little louder. We're going fishing again and um what are we trying to catch? We're trying to get catch bluegill. Yeah. And I got my mini fishing poles to catch it. Yeah. And um some dancing rascals, some uh, earthworms to put on the end of that hook to try to get her a couple of bluegill. And then I brought a couple of my poles so that way daddy can try to find some big old bass over here maybe. Yep. Oh yeah, just me and T. Uh, I used to do me and Tegan time all the time and then me and Bubba time. And we used to try to, oh, hold on T, there's a lot of water walk over here. We just had a massive downpour of a storm. Like one of the worst ones. I mean, look guys, that's where I, usually walk through over there and it's just full of water um sometimes after these storms like this we get lucky and the fish come out and they start biting good to you i gotta cut through first there you go don't poke me in the butt whoop don't poke me in the butt with that um sometimes it's good fishing after sometimes it's not it's it's really squishy Yep, she's starting school soon and she'll be back in cheer for Freedom Athletics on what squad are you on? I don't really know. I don't really know how to read the card. You don't know how to read the card? You don't remember which squad you were on? No, I can't. Oh man, it is wet down here. Soaking wet, I mean soaking. Yep. Alright T, let me get a couple yeah watch my poles let me get a couple cast in right along here let me see if one of these bass might be out. i'll put a worm on there in one second water's literally up like a foot or two and there's a ba uh, bass there's a look guys we were down here earlier and that bush was like a foot off the water and now you can't even see the stick that we can usually see sitting out of the water extra murky too oh no Oh, we got it. Extra murky. Hold on. What happened, T? Why, where are they at? Where are you seeing them? Look at that. Her dock's literally almost underwater. Well, guys, let me get her set up, and then we'll come back to our little fishing endeavor. I got this thing all knotted up. There's yeah. a little baby one right over there. Oh. Not crocodiles, they are alligators. Right? Right? Wow, their birds are being crazy over there. Yeah, like really crazy. Yeah. Hi guys, so let me get her set up and get her in the water. We'll see if the bluegill. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you mean, you mean baby alligator, baby. That's an alligator. It makes all the difference because of where we live. We have alligators. What happened to the queen? They got broken, I'm not sure. All right, well, let me get her set up. It's recording right now. For some reason, when I said something about worm, it started to Record, yeah. Well, I am not. All right, so, you guys, I am not excited from the hurricane. Well, we're gonna see how that goes, babe. Whoa. Whoa, Daddy. Whoa. I thought you were good at fishing. I am. Ooh. All right, here. You hold it. I'm gonna run over here and grab my uh, little bluegill setup, my little shiner bluegill deal. Mm -hmm. Now I want to walk back over to the dock over there and see if I can't pick something up. So you can just let it sit out there. 
Let's see if you can't get something to pick it up. What's going on? We got a lot, a lot of rain in a short time. You got it, T? I'm telling you, the, uh, this water is so murky, they probably won't even be able to tell. Look at that. Something was over here. Something was over here until the bird went across it and scared everything. That sucks. Probably out here because they scattered. If there's an inlet of water from the storm, they probably sat at the inlet waiting on everything and fish and bait and whatever to wash down the pipe. Best time to feed for them. Fresh oxygen too. Did you get something yet, T? There we go, guys. I got something, T. Come here, you want to help? Oh, it, it's fighting good. That's our fish on our team. All right, hold it real, baby, real. Real, don't let it go. Don't let it near the dock. Hurry up. Hold on, let go, let go, let go. Let me get it. Bye. Come over here. It's trying to go up under the dock. Oh boy, it's it, Hold on, it's under the dock. Crap. Hold on. It went and wrapped around. I gave her the pole and it went right under the dock. I got a 50 pound braid on. It ain't breaking, but I might lose it. still on there guys I can still feel it pulling on it oh 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 it man it was wrapped good seriously all that for this Yay! wow man I thought it was gonna be a good one so, what kind is that? that's a tilapia. Yay! Man, all pumped on a tilapia. <laughs> this is a good fight. Yay, we got a fishy, we got a fishy. Yeah, we got a fishy, man. That one was a good one. Huh? Was a good one of those days I'm glad I had braid on there. Because it would have been a brand new bait, just gone. That's a brand new? Yep, this is a littler one that I, or a small, a littler one, a smaller one that I picked up. Can I throw her or him back in the water? Yeah, hold on. Just wait, wait. wait. Don't need a baby. Tegan, it's, she's heavy. You want to lip her or you just, I'm just gonna... grab her right by the mouth? Here, yeah, walk, stand over. Ready? Let go. One, two, three, go. Torpedo. Oh, well, guys. Yep. Oh, don't let Tegan go get your pole. You left your bobber. Cast it back out there. But you don't ever want to leave your bobber in there because you know what will happen? Something will take your pole and it'll take it right out. Well, that was interesting. This is a good fight. That's exactly what had happened the other night, too, guys. Back hook because it's so shallow over there. Treble hooks and uh, tilapia are no bueno. Oh, something just went shooting out of there. What do you mean it's under? You mean you, you dropped your pole in the water, T? No, because your bobber's sitting right there. Are you sure it's where you left it? Hold on, guys. Oh, no. That was it, guys. T, I had a bite. 
Something grab something reach out and grab that one guys. Yeah, hang on. I just had something like something hammered it. Yeah, give me a second. I just had I caught one and then I had a bite, baby. There we go. Oh. That was good, guys. It's that edge of that grass right there. There's a bass sitting under there. That's a bass. It's sitting under the edge of that grass right there. Oh, but he's knotted up my braid now. What? The line? That might have been it, guys. There was probably a couple of them sitting over here, and I've lost my chance with two of them now. It sucks not having drag, guys. It's coming in on the top. Let's see what it does. Yep. Yeah, we caught a tilapia. Yep, and after, after the video, Daddy's gonna try um, catching my fish out and see what yeah. I gotta go get her pole, I guess, when she got excited when I caught that one. Yep. And uh, she caught it. Yeah, she she got excited when I caught that one. And uh, she decided to drop her pole in the water. Nope, I set it down. She set it down and it miraculously went in the water. For some reason now, this thing wants to swim on top of the water. Yep. I wish we had net. What do we need a net for? What's going on with you, bud? Again, look at that. Same thing. The hook flips. Oh, that's why. There's a tilapia oh. scale <laughs> pulling it up. I was wondering why it wasn't sinking. Whoopsie. Nothing's really biting us on the top of the water. We're gonna get a couple more casts in. Oh. You gonna get the one? Are you? I don't know, see. Can you try another spot? Yeah, we'll move around. All right, guys, I'm gonna go over here and try to fish her pole out of the water. No, Whatever that, that, I think I, I got my only chance was that bass that just flipped uh, out of the water right here. What? Alligator. Where? There's a couple of them. One's, one's coming one, at us. Two, one, two. Yeah. yeah. There's a few of them, baby. What? Oh no, I want to get that out before because you have a bobber. I can still see your bobber. If a bluegill or something comes and get your bobber, then they'll swim out and then they'll die because they'll be attached to your pole. Yeah. All right, walk over there and uh, stand by it. I'll be there in a second. I'll help you catch the fish. Yeah. But yeah, no, I would have let you reel that one in, T, but he was going for the dock and that's why I was worried he'd get wrapped up in the dock. So you don't you don't want to fish for the yeah and you had the death grip on it because you definitely wouldn't let me take it back from you i'm like no 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 this is the one thing we don't want to do guys there we go baby we're hooked up guys i just put this new swim bait on guys hold on baby don't let go hold on it's good it's good here hold the pole really good real baby real i'll hold the pole real reel it reel it easy 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 it's gonna pull a little bit real you're not used to this hold on keep it down um i just put this new swim bait on guys and uh i'm not really sure literally just made a cast a couple casts all right t it's getting really close we don't want to break it off it's big it's big here let me see Yay, you got it? It's all right it's good. coming up by the shore let's see what it is guys it's all up in the grass hold on it's up in the grass Oh, 
no. Guys. <laughs> it's all right, baby. It's all right. But guys, look at this. The mystery tackle box swim bait. Check this guy out. I added the treble hook to it and I just whipped it over there. It's all right. It got tangled up in the grass. I didn't want you to pull on it with too much force, T, because I don't have braid on here. I got 20 pound fluoro, which was definitely fine. That was a good fight. Did you guys see the splash? That was how heavy, wasn't it? I didn't even let go of the pole all the way, T. Did you feel how heavy that was? Yeah. But what I was getting ready to tell you guys was I didn't, I walked over a little bit and before I turned the camera on, right here, something big just moved off the shore. And then all of a sudden I made that cast and kaboom, we were on them. Actually, this does work. Hmm. Villagers talk. Hmm. Hmm. Honestly, didn't think it was a bite at first, guys. I'm surprised it stayed down. I'm really happy that it did with T reeling it in. I need to slow down. I'm excited now. Man, that's crazy. Yeah, that was a solid one, guys. That was definitely solid. It was pulling hard. Yeah, one more spot. Sorry, I get excited like you do. Once the bite starts happening, I start getting excited. Usually though, bass, when water starts filling up this fast, they usually sit back off a little ways from where they were. So wherever, it takes them a couple days to push up on new water. Sometimes they'll push up on new water right away. That's crazy, guys. That was a good one and we missed it. I saw a shine, it had some size to it, but I couldn't see like exactly what it was. Well, I knew because, because like the way- That was a good one, T. That was a really good fish. You can't believe we got fish. The way that you were like reeling it out, like, we got a big one. Oh yeah, it was a big one, all right. That one had some weight to it, because I can usually, I mean by myself, I, it's different when I have her doing it too. Where are you going? You're going to go in there and fish, are you sure? Yes. Do you, do you need me to, do you, hey, be careful with your bobber and your hook. Make sure, look at your line. Is your bobber wrapped around the end of your pole tee? All right, unwrap it and don't go too close to the water. I'm right here. Hey, are you going up on the bridge? Just stay away from the edge. Tegan, I'll be over there in a second, okay? I really want to cast in here, but that's been taking everything with a treble hook lately, but that's where the bass have been lately, so... Just give me one minute, baby. I want to throw this. It's probably perfect with the shine spin and everything. the swim bait for the wind. Look at that over by the dock. Big bass just smacked right next to the dock over there. We have to, might have to walk over and around. Just don't go in the road. Huh? Tegan, you could fish right here. There's bluegill over here too. I'll come over there with you. Want me to come over there with you? What's up? I can't hear you. There, you don't know what, what was. Well, guys, we got one. Oh no, guys, it came off. Oh man. Hold on. Guys, that was good. It hit it right away. And oh man, I was. It, does, it doesn't mean I'll catch it again, baby. I knew something was going to happen. They're right up on the edge of the shore, guys. Now that the water's up high, 
the bass had pushed up against the bank and it literally as soon as it hit it for some reason I was right on it I just didn't I, my finger slipped since my drag is my thumb and everything's nice and wet that was yeah yeah you could cast right off that point guys I missed that one that's the second bass today and then the one we probably just caught with Tegan because that had to be a bass What's wrong, baby? Oh, I can't believe we missed that. What? Oh, come over here. That's a dead fish. There's actually a current going on in here, guys. That's that's why they're sitting in here. No, T, you got you got to cast it right. Easy. Slow down. You need me to cast it for you? Guys, I was sleeping on it. Like I, I had a good feeling like something was gonna happen soon and I slept on it. But something big's down, it's hitting down by the dock over there. Tegan, cast it and leave it. There you go. Just let it sit there. Ah. No, don't say that. I can't believe I missed that baby. You saw that? That's. We missed one up here. We fought it all the way back up. And then we missed, Daddy missed two literally right where they where they hit from. Daddy, you'll keep it on the I keep, I keep either under. Maybe we can actually land one. So this is the one thing that's different guys. So check it out. The big swim bait that I caught the big four pounder on. Um, one, one second. Uh, the big four pounder on is uh, five to six inches. This is like a three and a half. This is half the size. And the treble hooks, look at the back one. This is gonna probably be my base hooker, hooker, my, my base set right here. And it's a lot smaller than this front one. So I wanna upgrade the back one to the same size as this because I'm thinking that's why my, ooh. I did it. Yep, look at that. Well guys, the back hook works really good. Just caught the inside layer of the first layer of skin. And we're good. So I'm not gonna talk trash about that hook set, guys. I'm sorry, little bait guy. I'll leave you the way you are because apparently you work. Woo, that was close. Hold that, baby. All right, guys, we're gonna walk to one more spot so yeah, Tegan can... Guys. Here, we'll leave your... That's her sister, baby. That's your aunt, silly, not her friend. Well, um, we went over here to fish, and at that dock. What did she catch? Look at. Oh man. Yep, she caught a soft shell turtle, guys. A huge one, this big. But we're gonna take we're gonna take a walk. We'll see you guys on the other side. All right, guys, look, this is full. A couple big bass just ran through here. They're literally like fighting to get out of here, guys. Tegan, can you wait to fish right here real quick? There's a bunch of big bass, set your pole down. They're coming in here to feed, guys. We are about to tear them up on, I don't even know which one. We're gonna use the 50 pound braid setup. Tegan, watch my poles. Guys, you're not gonna believe this. Literally, I wish I had the camera on. There, there's a sandbar right here, and they were swimming over the sandbar. Look, you can see them. T, quiet. Look, there's a lot of big fish in here, and we don't want to miss them. They've been waiting. Look, look, there they go. They just were whooshing out of here. Hold on, T. Like, I'm really, I'm really excited for you to tell them some stuff, but I also want to show them this. They're not going to believe this. This is crazy. Oh, that was the worst cast ever. All right, T, I'm gonna have to do, stay up here. We're gonna have to do some sneaking. On your chest. Yeah, I'll let you wear it. Give me one second, T. Like, this is a chance of a lifetime right now. Watch, guys. We're about to light them up. You ready? Usually we do this with the plastic guys and they come in here and they tear it up. I am. Tegan, just stay right there. Look, see him? See him, guys? Look, it's alive. 
from over there, guys, this was not alive until we just scared off. There we go. Oh, God. Daddy. There it is. Daddy. No, 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 no. Daddy. No, it came off, T. It literally, something hammered it, guys. Yeah, Tegan, go. Yeah, Tegan, go grab the other pole with the other uh, bait on it. It's got a better hook. Dude, guys, whatever hit this literally just totally missed it. Like, it hit it, and it didn't get the hooks, guys. It literally, oh. They're down here. Look at them going crazy. Uh, this sucks. I don't have no, I have no hook set, guys. It's all in my thumb, and they jerked it right out of my finger. It is. All right, guys. We're gonna wrap this video up right here. Tegan is getting uh, itchies, as she calls them, where the bugs really start to bother her. I'm thinking if they really start to bother. Yeah, and for some reason now, all of a sudden, the dragon wants to work on this. Like, I know it's not, like, permanent, but, yeah. So, anytime we get a rainstorm that drops that much rain, I tend to forget. But, look, you can see all this bait moving around through here. Man, you guys, wish I had the camera on. As soon as we walked up. There was a bunch of them in here feeding and splashing and they literally, there's a sandbar there. You could see them coming up over it like three pound, four pound bass and taking off down out. And the problem is they probably ran fully all the way out of the canal. Here, I'll, I'll, here. No, nope, we gotta go this way. That's the long way. And uh, I think they ran fully out of the canal. Usually I... Hold on T. They, uh, they usually run out to the end of the canal and I can usually get a couple of cast and then they end up running off. And uh, what ends up hanging out is the, uh, the big gar. I think that first couple cast, that first cast initially was a bass, the one that hammered it. I mean, you could tell the difference in a gar hitting something and a bass. I mean, we hit that tilapia over there originally and uh man this whatever hit it wanted it it just totally missed the uh the hooks but the more i start casting over there the bass usually push way out so i've kind of figured that spot out pretty well but um hold on baby um yeah so i, I don't know she said something i forgot but guys thanks for joining in and tuning in you know, we didn't catch any monsters. Uh, we definitely hooked in. A, we still don't know what that one was over there with me and Tegan. That was big, guys. I mean, you have to admit the way it was fighting and bending the pole. We lost it right there in the grass. I mean, it happens when you use these swim baits like this. Like, you catch bigger fish, but you, you tend to lose them. So, all right, guys. Tegan, you want to say bye? Bye. All right. So, um, thank you for joining in and to... Do what? Like and subscribe. Yep, and hit that notification bell. She's like, huh? Yeah, so like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell, because when you guys do that, it helps me go out there and get to do more fun stuff with my kids. All right, guys. And Peyton. Yep, and Peyton. Yep. Say goodbye for Peyton. All right, say bye, bye for Peyton. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Go out there and fish, guys.